So, Marion from Merch Fab. Today we're going to be painting the roll cage, painting in the interior. Hope everyone had a good Christmas. I've been in and obviously masked it all up, didn't film the masking process because I think it would probably be as painful to watch as it was to do. But uh, it's all it's all ready to go. I've scotched everything inside, panel wiped it, gone over it all with a tack cloth, so it's now basically ready to spray paint on. So uh, need to mix some paint up. So I got my paint. This is a compliant 2K paint, which I don't really know the ins and outs, but basically it just doesn't have some of the really toxic stuff in it that um, the non-compliant one does. And because, because this car is like half a modern car and half an old car, um, this is what needs to be used. I'd rather use something that's um, less toxic anyway. Uh, so two parts paint, one part hardener, add up to 10% thinners. So I'm guessing you just use this uh, scale on here. This is two to one, and it gives you the percentage for the thinners. So, so that makes life easy. Bought a mask, because I'm gonna be, I'm actually gonna sit in the car and paint it, so I don't. My other mask is, um, I'm pretty sure this one is actually up to spec, but it's, it's just old and manky. But, um, so ABEC1 P3 is apparently what I need for paint. So this is what I've got. I've got a mask. Gonna wear some uh, goggles as well, just because I'm gonna be inside the car with all the paint. And I'll put my hood up and gloves and stuff. And then the gun I'm using, I was given this years ago by a friend of mine. It's apparently actually a good gun. It was just sat in a box. I've used it loads of times where it got really crusted up. So I spent an hour like stripping it all down, cleaning it all out. Um, it's got a, uh, a 1.6 nozzle in it, which I've done a bit of reading up. Apparently that's a bit bigger than what I should be using, but um, that's all I got. So we'll have a go, see how we get on. And the plan of attack is I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit in here and just get as much of it as I can. I'm gonna try and get three coats on everything apart from all the floor, the tunnel so I can actually get in to be able to get to everything and then I'll come back and do this bit last and these bits of the door bars. So then I can climb in and out without worrying about hitting this, get everything else done, come back, just wipe this off again and then and then do this last and I'll do the same. Same with the boot, I'll, I'll leave this area till last, get in, get all up underneath and just try and get Try and get as much of it covered as I can before I um, before I do the bits that I need to lean on. That's the idea, anyway.
All right, do you want the bad news or the bad news? So, I ran out of paint, sort of, I haven't even got a full coat on everything yet, but to be honest, it's a bit of a blessing in disguise because it's going about as well as every other paint job I've ever attempted to do. Reason being, well, I'll just show you. So I got sort of almost a full coat on everything and uh, the paint was just kind of, well, actually no, to start with. So this, this was the panel that goes over the um, tank, over the uh, fuel pump. So I did this as like the first test and it came out absolutely fine, paint on, went on really nice. Um, perfectly good enough for me, if I could have get, if I could get the whole inside looking like that, I'd be really happy. But, um, so then I basically seem to be having problems with the paint coming out in like thick, big globules um, one minute and then coming out nicely the next minute. So there's bits of it that have like gone on quite well and then there's other bits that really haven't. So I've basically got, got paint runs everywhere. Um, so I've left, well, this is like the day after I started painting, so I've left it to dry. Um, and I noticed I had in the boot here some like thick, I thought they were just globules of paint. But when I wipe them off, there's water underneath them. And then when I've gone to sort of rub off some of these um, so I was just flattening off some of my paint runs to paint over the top of it and I've noticed I've got this uh, and so I'm guessing this is all, all water in the uh, paint Um, I've sanded a few other bits just to check that it's not everywhere and it doesn't seem to be everywhere. Um, so, yeah, not quite going to plan. I, before I started, obviously drained the water out of the compressor and I've got this dryer which has a big like paper filter in there, so it's got a new filter in it. Um, so the only thing I can think is that there's water in this, in this, um, in this line. That some bits of it have come out all right, but what was, what was really noticeable was I had the heater poking through here and it heated up sort of the top Obviously the top of the car got some heat into it and the paint that's gone on these top bits has just gone on nicely. Whereas everything down here is where it's all just running off. So I think the problem, a lot of the problem is, uh, you see it's like sagging down. I've just put too much paint on it. So I spoke to, I spoke to Trev from Trev's blog Spoke to Gareth from Transpairs just to try and get a few tips and pointers as to what could be going on. Um, Trev seems to think it could be an issue with the gun I'm using, so he's recommended that I just, he sent me a link for just like a cheap gun to try and see if I get better results with that. I need to have a water trap actually on the gun. And then, yeah, I need to try and just get some more heat into here. Probably just leave the heater going for a few hours to try and warm the whole, whole space up rather than just trying to get a bit of heat into the car. It's definitely hard work trying to paint, um, just trying to get paint onto everything when you've got bars and tubes and, you know, a big gun. And then obviously all the other issues I seem to have going on. 
I'll see if I can see if I can sort those problems out, get another gun, get another water trap, and uh, sand all, try and sand all the bits off that have got water in them, and I have another go. What else can you do? I don't definitely don't think I'm gonna attempt to paint the outside in here. Like everything in the workshop is now covered in overspray, and that's from trying to paint the inside or something. So. Uh, you know, to paint the outside, I would have to just cover everything in it. So yeah, just gonna leave it for now, let it dry off a bit more, and uh, have another go at the end of the week. So not, not really how I wanted it to turn out, but I'm sure it'll be all right in the end. Hope everyone has a good new year. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one.